Well, presidential candidate Donald Trump sharing his plans for the economy. My plan cuts taxes. She's going to be raising $1.3 trillion in taxes. My plan cuts taxes. My plan's going to lead to growth. We're going to actually, we're going to have the jobs, not her. Joining us now to talk about this is Democratic strategist John Reinish and former New York Lieutenant Governor Betsy McCoy. It's great to have both of you with us. Thank you. Um, great to be here. Lieutenant Governor, I, I, I'll begin with you. Um, what do you think of some of the things that, that Mr. Trump said? I think we're still looking for some specifics in terms of, of numbers, what the tax plan will cost, what the infrastructure spend will be. Well, it's a very promising plan. Tax cuts, regulatory relief, are, are urgently needed, uh, fair trade, and uh, unleashing uh, energy production. So very promising. The most important feature of his plan is reducing corporate tax rates when he promised that no business in America will pay more than 15 percent business income in taxes. The fact is that American companies are taxed to death. We pay almost the highest rate in the world, even after all the deductions, about 27 percent, which is far higher than most other uh, countries. Sure. Moody's has looked at the plan. They say it will cause a recession. <clears throat> it will increase the deficit and it will create far fewer jobs than Hillary Clinton. Well, that's so how what do you the headline that? says. But let me point out that Moody's Analytics, the report to which you're referring, that's made right. it very clear that Hillary Clinton's plan will produce no increase in business investment. Now, let's look at what's happening in our economy. We have sluggish 1.2 percent growth despite robust consumer demand. Why? Because for three quarters we've seen business investment decline, right? That is pushing us toward what you might call a business recession. We need business investment. This reduction in corporate tax rates is absolutely what's needed to do it. In fact, Hillary Clinton is going to raise business taxes to pay for a huge public works program. That's a throwback to the 1930s or to Obama's shovel ready. Although Mr. Ready. Trump said he would do the same thing with infrastructure spending. Yes, but not by raising business taxes. Not by raising business taxes. Government cannot spend our way out of this problem. Government cannot create prosperity. We need private sector business investment. He said, he and there is nothing in Hillary Clinton's fair growth plan about growth. I, Nothing. I, I think if you want to create business confidence, you don't. <clears throat> Excuse me, you don't have a disaster at the top of the ticket who creates utter chaos theory. If you want to talk about lack of confidence, it's having a dumpster fire in, in the White House who's unpredictable, who talks about Second Amendment solutions, You're not talking and who about talks about building a wall. Because you can't. The fact is, the you economics are cutting for the ultra wealthy, which has destroyed the middle no. class. You can't no. talk about building the middle class if you're going to talk about cutting taxes for millionaires and billionaires. And that are the, the if, if Trump talks about his tax plan and 1.3 uh, trillion dollars in taxes goes to the upper, upper, upper class. And if He's you're going to try and close some of the loopholes on that, and they're going to yes. So I, so there, there are small parts of that plan, like closing corporate loopholes and corporate welfare. Sure, those are those are fine ideas. That that is a way to um, give some money back to the middle class and, and increase you know consumer confidence and and home purchases there. But that's not the entirety of his of his plan. And an unpredictable force is not a way to create confidence in our economy. Listen to this rhetoric. This election is a choice between economic growth and class warfare. It's a choice between exactly instability what, and stability. No, no. Hillary Clinton's. Fair growth plan, and I'm, I'm holding up the Tax Foundation report, would slash GDP by over another 100 basis points. It's already down to 1.2 growth. She would almost annihilate it and cost the nation 311,000 private sector jobs over the next decade. Her proposal is simply a throwback to the New Deal. More and more government spending rather than business and investment. And the New Deal that lifted us out of the Great Depression was bad sorry, because no. I don't think anybody who's not like a Newsmax economic columnist would ever say that it was a bad thing. You can, you can, you can call me names, but this is, <laughs> this is a debate between Keynesian economics and supply-side economics, and clearly the facts are on the side of supply-side economics. I think if you economics. look at what mainstream economic theorists and certainly what voters support and who voters are flocking to is, is the answer as to who's winning this argument. All right, good stuff. Thanks for being here. Thank you.